who else feels like 2023 is literally just 2022 version 2.0 What's up everyone? My name is Lefty, your sales video Jedi, and in this channel we learn everything to do with filmmaking, video marketing strategies, and the odd tutorial. And today I just kind of want to sit down with you guys and give you my year-end review. 2022, that's it, it is over, but it doesn't feel like 2022 is over. It really just feels like it is continuing on to 2023 because in reality, we just got our lives back. We've been in isolation for the last two and a half years. And it really wasn't until the beginning of 2022 when the borders opened, when flights opened, when we were just able to do whatever it is that we wanted to do and no restrictions on where we can go and what we can do. And I also feel like this year was a year for growth. It was a year that people really found themselves. People really decided where they wanted to go, how they wanted to put themselves out there. And that is because we were introduced to something so amazing and that was Instagram Reels. Now, Instagram Reels, of course, follow TikTok, and that's how it was created, but it allowed so many people to just get out there and even start businesses online where they thought they never would have done it to begin with. And you know what? There, there are some things that we have to thank the pandemic for, and I guess that is one of them. The creator community is estimated to hit $1 billion in revenue. That's how many creators are out there in the world right now. And what I love about it is that I just get to communicate and be in contact with so many amazing people. People that I never would have thought in a million years I would ever talk to. And no, that's not because I'm like some cool kid and that like you're in the loser group. Oh, what a loser! You would have never found these people if they never decided to just jump on Instagram or jump on TikTok or heck, even jump on YouTube because YouTube has shorts as well. So what was my takeaway for 2022? There was so much that was going on that literally it was hard to keep up with everything. But I managed to get through another year while I was even scaling my videography business. So let's rewind to January. I'm starting in a new niche. I'm targeting a brand new audience. I finally decide, okay, I'm gonna go this direction and I'm gonna give it my all. That is it, no turning back. That niche were coaches. And coaches was honestly the best move I could have ever done for my business. And no, not because you know the majority of them have buying power and it was easier to sell my services, but it was because of the amazing people that I got to connect with. It was the friendships that I built. It was the exchange of skills. It was the exchange of knowledge. And we all together helped each other build our businesses through what it is that we needed for that time. Now I can confidently say that most of my peers have their content out there. They're ripping their businesses. They're just killing it in the online space. And they gave me the opportunity to get insider information to help me grow and scale as well. So first and foremost, I want to thank everyone that trusted me with their businesses in 2022. And I wanna continue furthering those relationships in 2023 and the years to come. And I also look forward to working with brand new individuals and brand new business owners as well. So the biggest takeaways that I have from 2022 is this. One, communication. Being able to communicate with so many different individuals has been a blessing, has been the most amazing thing ever. Learning people's stories, people learning my stories, following their journeys while they're following mine. It has been just an amazing thing that I've never seen before in my life. And I am so happy that this creator community is constantly growing. Second takeaway is I found myself as a business owner. I found who I wanted to be as an entrepreneur who I wanted to service, how I wanted to service them. And the only way I was able to find this out was to just put a sea of offers out into the world and really who caught what, what net brought in the most fish. And it wasn't really about how many things I can sell or who can I attract for this specific thing. It was really about finding out what people truly wanted and how I can be that bridge that gaps the problem with the solution. And it wasn't only until closer to the end of this year, roughly about October, when I finally got hit with the idea and I was like, okay, I'm going to run with this. What is it that I ran with? Well, for those of you that don't know me, you can watch my story video 
but I'm gonna give you a little bit of context here so you know. When I first started my video marketing agency five years ago, the first thing that I knew that I always wanted to do was promotional advertisement, commercials, and documentaries. Now, I've yet to shoot a documentary, but I would love to because I presented it to so many of the coaches that I work with, but in the meantime, it's been promotional ads and commercials. And the reason why I love doing this type of work is because it allows me to express myself as a creator. It allows me to express myself as a cinematographer and as a director. And it especially helps me bring out my creativity in the editing room to help someone else make more money in their business. Now there's two types of videos in the world. There's the videos where you just want to look cool and look better than your competition. And the second type of video is there strictly for the purposes of getting an ROI. And those are the videos that I absolutely love. So at the beginning of the year, I did jump on the bandwagon. I jumped on the short form content game. And I did it for myself at first until everybody started pretty much kind of like praising me, saying, oh my God, your videos are so good. Your videos are this, your videos are that. And you know, obviously thank you for all those compliments. But I noticed that halfway through the year, I was getting all these great results for my clients, yet they weren't converting. They weren't converting the way that I wanted them to. And one thing I said to one of my prospects at the beginning of the year was, hey, if you want to see the type of videos that I can produce, go check out my Instagram. That's where my portfolio is. And that's because I always felt like Instagram was like a place to just store your portfolio. It wasn't really a place to generate leads. Although you can very well generate leads and get business from Instagram. I gotta admit, I've only closed one deal on Instagram. And to go back to my clients, I maybe shot 20 videos for one of my clients. We generated probably around 300,000 views and he as well did not get even one single client out of it. So that kind of brought me back to thinking, okay, maybe this really is just a place to store your portfolio, just a place to store kind of like your free knowledge in order to get people to be like, okay, this guy and girl understands what they're talking about. And it was once I saw that 300,000 views didn't even generate one booking, not one booked call, not one closed deal, is when I started to really go back to the drawing board and go, hmm, this platform is super volatile. Sorry, I don't know that one. Even she doesn't know. And it's volatile due to the fact that it changed its algorithm five, six, seven times in literally like 10 months. How is anybody supposed to gain any traction when these platforms are constantly pushing you in different directions and making you different things. So that's when I sat back. I'm sitting in this chair like I am right now. And I was like, what do I need to do in order to get my clients the results that they're looking for? I'm going to go back and I'm going to start creating promotional advertisements. Not that I ever left it, but I kind of put it on the back burner to do this short form content game. And when I realized how volatile that game is, and that I wasn't yielding much of an ROI for any of my clients, I decided to make a shift. Put the promotional ads first, put the short form content as a back end offer if I even still wanna do that. I still do that. When someone is spending five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40,000 plus dollars with you to get some amazing video work done, or just any type of work done, they want to know that they're going to get at least some return back. Either they're going to make their money back, they're going to double their money, they're going to triple their money. They want to know that whatever they're investing in, it's going to get them results in order to want to continuously invest in you. If they don't get any results, the likelihood of them coming back to you and working with you again are probably slim to none unless they just need like a really cool video that they don't care about. Then you're going to constantly be kind of like, sitting back wondering when they're going to call you again. And that's not the game that I wanted to play. I want to know that when somebody comes to me, somebody is getting a job with me, that they're going to at least double their ROI. And yeah, I have doubled ROIs in a matter of 90 days. It's a great feeling inside when someone can come back to you and say, hey, remember that video that you shot for me? Yeah, it made X amount of dollars. And you're just like, wow, I'm really happy for you. That's awesome. Want to do it again? Another takeaway that I'm taking from this year, and it's something that I've literally built my entire business on, is 
Less is more. I am not going to be a slave to these platforms. I am not going to just create tons and tons and tons of content in hopes that somebody sees it. In hopes that one out of those five videos get seen because realistically that's what it is it's one out of those five videos get seen i feel like even though that we are entrepreneurs i feel like there's a lot on the line being an entrepreneur you should never give up your values you should never give up time for yourself you know we're already glued to our phones as it is put that phone down i mean this past week you guys didn't see me during the holidays and that's really because I decided to say no. I'm gonna spend time with family. I'm gonna spend time with my wife. I'm gonna spend time with my friends. And I did little to no posting. And you know, some of you probably were wondering like, oh, where the heck is Lefty? But half of you probably didn't even care. You guys probably didn't even notice that I was gone. And that was primarily on Instagram. But the point that I'm trying to make is that People are going to watch you when you put out the right type of content. It doesn't need to be every day. It doesn't need to be five times a day. It doesn't need to be three times a day. In 2023, start creating content that makes sense for your brand, that makes sense for your vision. And you'll realize that less is actually more because I've been able to build this business on less is more. And so should you. And one thing that I do every single year, it's something that is a tradition of mine to keep being more creative, to keep keeping those juices flowing, is I always do a little bit of a revamp of my space. This year, it was just a matter of switching a few pieces of furniture around. And next year, it might be adding some new things. The year after that, it might be building out this place to exactly how I want it. But this is a pretty good start, I'm not gonna lie. So all I did this year was add a little bit more lighting, switch some furniture around, put some piece of equipment on display that I don't normally have on display. And I'm happy that I did that because every time I see things in a different light, it allows me to be more creative. It allows me to get inspired. It allows me to just keep pushing forward. And so far, I'm happy with the way that this place looks. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I also included things in my studio setup that are more of my hobbies, things that I enjoy, things that I like when I'm not on camera, when I'm not doing the business thing. So there are a lot of new assets around that are gonna allow me to continue being more inspired and just keep pushing the needle forward. And if I could leave you with anything from this video, what I would love in 2023 is to do the following. I want to be able to sell more to give more. I want to be able to continuously bring you high quality, top notch content, not just for the sake of viewing, but for the sake of enjoyment and for the sake of education. I'm always going to be around whenever you guys need me. And I might also bring a vlog aspect to this channel where I can kind of just talk to you guys like this and have you guys come in on behind the scenes stuff on how I'm feeling that day or that week. I initially started this channel because I wanted you guys to get to know me more. I wanted you guys to get to know me outside of the short form content outside of just you know the badass video guy the sales video jedi and i think i did a pretty good job of doing that i think i am doing a pretty good job of doing that i would always love to hear your recommendations and i'm always open to talking on subjects that you guys might need answers to so i'm going to take what i learned in 2022 continue learning in 2023 apply all that same knowledge and amplify it this year to come is gonna be nothing but bigger, badder lefty, bigger, badder videos. And with that being said, have yourselves a happy and safe new year. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the new year. Peace.